Welcome back, fellas. Here we go. I'll show you the engine, give you a detailed walk around of it. Show you what all I'm gonna do to it, what all need to be done to it. So did y'all guess right? We have an old 455. Yes, a smog motor. I got the Holly Terminator X stuff on it. And yes, it's a glorified carburetor. But I tune it with a laptop. I ain't got to change no jets or take it on or off to tune it or anything. Yeah, that's it. And I got the HyperSmart ignition system to control the timing. As you see there. And yeah. Let's start her up. lights up here and everything it's touch screen yeah i'm eventually change the wheels on it i want to go with 20s in the rear 18s in the front i like that staggered look Up, it'll idle down. I pretty much done, done the AC system on it. I rebuilt the AC box, changed the accumulator, the hoses, the condenser. I rebuilt the controls on the inside. All I have to do is charge that, but I haven't changed the compressor yet. What I'm thinking about is changing that out and charging it and be done with that. Yeah. Let's see what temp she done got to. It's about 
about 139. At full operating temp, she'll be like 185, but she'll get to about 165 just standing on a cold start idle. Yeah. I just got a basic audio system. I can adjust it down to get to my AC controls. And I got this little charge port right there. You get to get a little boat readout too. I can just grab this. This is how I do all my updates and stuff with the Holly, which is in the glove box. I showed y'all in the previous video. But I went with the Holly management system because eventually I might change the engine out. And if you know what the Holly is, modular and upgradable. I can pretty much go with any engine I want to with a harness swap. So what I'm thinking about doing is rebuilding the 455. And that's gonna take a while because it's very expensive. So I get me a badass LS motor to go in there in the meantime while I build the 455 back. So that's my plans there. And it's got a turbo 350, it's rebuilt. It's got like a, a basic stage two BN, BNM shift kit in it, but she pulled hard and it's pretty fun to drive. It ain't nothing special or nothing. You know, Oldsmobile engines, they're not made for revving high. They are basically stunt pullers, which is torque monsters. And if you want to stop like the stoplight, torque is what you want you don't feel horsepower you feel torque and that's why i went with the old 455 because it ain't nothing funny than pulling up to a stoplight and just hitting it and you feel all of it it's pretty badass so but it is a smog motor and it ain't it's just for it's a good foundation to build on but it's in it's bare form right there it ain't nothing special it's just to get me by till i get the the funds to build something that's more good but yeah I bought it pretty much like this. I switched out all the speakers. I went with like an entry level scar setup. It sounds pretty good. I still got to EQ it and stuff, but I pretty much love this car, man. It's it's in honor of my mom, man. She passed December 14th, 2017. That's when my whole life changed, and I just needed something to get me to get me going, man. I would. I used to be very outgoing now. I'm just, I just stay at the house and work on the car, man. So, yeah, I have another amp up under the seat. That's a DSP amp. I got my lights in here. Um, sorry if the video ain't that good. This, I'm just going at it, man. But I'm gonna give y'all something. And the paint's fairly in good shape, man, but I do need to get it repainted. Cause like this fender, like this is real bad right in this area. Yeah. But it is like a, it's got like a, kind of a flip to it, man. Pretty badass. And you see now it idled down a little bit. You can hear it settling. But yeah. You get a lot of inspiration off guys off YouTube, man. To help you with your building stuff, man. So that's why I'm doing this. Hopefully y'all help me out and I can help y'all guys out. That's what it's all about. The car culture. It brings everybody together, man. All walks of life. You know, it's different strokes for different folks, but we can come together, man. I love cars. Most guys do, man. So. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, you see that 165? I can get y'all a good rev up. Let's see if I can get you in there. another shot of that ECU if I can get this out of here and what I did was I reworked my Holly uh, harness so it fit to the car better 
Shout outs to Devin Vanderhoof on uh, YouTube. If y'all guys got a holly, y'all know who Devin is, but if you don't, y'all need to follow him, man. And that is where it is. That's the the main um, relay and fuse for the holly. You know, if you got a holly, it's on the, the harness, down, down the length of the harness. So I just reworked it up so it'll be right here beside the ECU and I can just get at it and do what do what I need to do if I need to service it or something. But yeah. I still got a little room to put stuff in right there in my glove box. But yeah. I do got to change my intake out. It's leaking pretty bad. I put this on myself. But I use RTV for the top shelf right here. Like right there at the shelf in the back. So I gotta change that out. Put new intake gaskets on it and stuff, but I'm gonna go with a different intake to bring it down a little lower because I'm right at the, the max height with the my air cleaner on that's over there. It's at, at max height, so yeah. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. And just stick along with me. The content will get better and stuff, man. And drop down in the comments and tell me what you think of her, man. Give me your honest opinion, man. No, this is America, man. You got the right to have your opinion, whatever it is. If it's look like shit to you, drop down in the comments and say it look like shit to me, man. I appreciate it, man. Y'all have a good day.